Hello and welcome to today's episode of Focus Atlanta. I am your host, Keisha Lanslin. Thanks so much for tuning in with us this Sunday afternoon. In our first segment, we're going to talk a little bit about diverse books for all. And I'm here with Ernestine Benedict. Ernestine, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Excited to be here. Now, you've got to give me a little background because there's so many partnerships, so many people involved in making this happen. Um, how did you get involved with Diverse Books for All? Um, I'm loving to share that. So I am the uh, head of communications at Zero to Three, which is an early childhood nonprofit uh, that focuses on the health and well being of babies and toddlers. And while we don't directly distribute books, we know that children having diverse books and quality reading time from the moment they're born is important. So we're really excited to be a part of the Diverse Books for All Coalition, which is a consortium of more than 40 nonprofits uh, working together to get more diverse books to children all across the country. Wow. Now, when I think of um, growing up, I'm, I'm, I'm a little out of, you know, I'm obviously out of the demo, but when I think of growing up, it was so empowering to see someone who looked like me in a movie, in a television show, in a book. Um, can we talk a little bit about how important diverse books really are for little black and brown children? We certainly can. It is absolutely critical. We know that the majority of children being born in this country today are children of color. They are black children, they're Latino children, they're children from other cultures. And they deserve to see and read books that reflect characters that look like them, experiences that are familiar to them, and expose them to other cultures. And so when children read books that reflect who they are, it affirms that their families, their communities, are worthy, worthy of being talked about, worthy of being written about. And that is an experience we want for all our babies. And we particularly wanna make sure that black and brown children have that opportunity too. What I love about that is that um, it extends so much farther than that period, than that period of reading that book, of seeing that book. It really impacts the life of the child. It truly means that they can see themselves in, in a variety. You know, I don't care if it's a book about space. No, most of us not, aren't ever going to go to space. But if they see themselves in that, they believe it. You know, that whole, if you see it, you can be it kind of thing. It's real. Yes. And you got, I mean, it's, it really is. And you guys are making it, um, I guess making it a priority where people think, you know, oh yeah, you know, if there's one or two, that's great. But you guys are saying, no, 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 we need to push the initiative so that on mm -hmm. a consistent basis, we are seeing multiple faces in the, in the things that we teach our children. Absolutely. And, you know, I can share with you that uh, the first book organization that is really the convener of this consortium, uh, they have an insights and research group that did an incredible study and recently uh, released the results. They engage 450 educators with children across age spans. And what they discovered from doing that research is that when children have uh, diverse books that um, represent what we're talking about, those characters and those situations that they feel like they can be a part of and that represent what they already know, that they read more for pleasure and their reading scores go up. And that's what we want to see. So this study happened over the course of six months and those results are extraordinary. When children took reading tests, their scores raised up by 3%. Wow. We are all I think, deeply familiar with the reading crisis happening in this country, uh, particularly understanding that 80% of black and brown children are not reading on grade level by third grade. So if you know that providing diverse books specifically will help to improve their literacy, you have to be a part of what we're doing. You have to be a part of this movement. I love it. Well, then I got to get you to close out with a website where we can continue to tap in and learn more and stay connected. 
Our website is so easy. And when you get to that website, you will have resources about not only what we're doing, but how you can get involved locally and nationally. The URL is diversebooksforall.org. Thank you so much for, for your time. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for the work that you're doing. It was a pleasure to meet you. It was wonderful to meet you. Thank you. Absolutely. All right, guys, we can do this for our babies. We just want them to see themselves in a variety of different ways. And the way that you do that is through books. It's through the imagination. We all experience it. Please give that opportunity to the children of the next generation. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this segment of Focus Atlanta. We'll be right back with more.